The Marianas Trench is one of the most remote, inhospitable places on Earth. The journey to discover what form the Marianas Trench is accumulating additional evidence. The Trieste dived to the bottom of the trench and confirmed that it is the deepest point on the planet. Sonar maps then revealed the East Pacific Ocean Ridge running parallel to the trench. To solve the mystery of the Marianas Trench, investigators needed to find out exactly what was happening at the East Pacific Ridge. And that meant exploring these vast mountains, 8,000 feet underwater. A bizarre pillar of rock spewing hot, toxic gas. And we saw the water was sort of shimmering, sort of like uh, bubbling in a glass teapot or something. We stuck the temperature probe in there and measured 38, 39 degrees Fahrenheit, which was really amazing because the, the ocean's a huge heat sink. So to see something warm like that was kind of startling. In these pillars of rock, the expedition had found the heat from the magma surging up from deep inside the earth. It wasn't warming the water evenly along the ridge. It was channeled up through strange hydrothermal vents. When you make these discoveries, you don't know how significant they are. The true significance of them maybe takes several years to appreciate. And this was one of those times. But the Marianas Trench, the deepest subduction zone in the world, hasn't caused a devastating earthquake since records began in the 17th century. Investigators needed to know why. Ah, that's, that's uh, the $60,000 question. They hoped the trench's shallower western edge might provide the answer. Here they found an intriguing chain of underwater hills two miles below the surface of the sea. Engineers drilled down into the hills and collected core samples. And when the scientists analyzed the samples, they discovered the hills were actually volcanoes. And they spewed out not lava, but mud. The fine powdery mud is made up of a soft type of rock that has been ground up in the subduction zone. It seemed this soft rock might explain why there have been no major earthquakes at the Marianas Trench. Everybody has a sense of what a volcano is, but not all volcanoes erupt igneous rocks. There's some volcanoes that erupt mud, and a certain kind of unusual kind of mud in the Marianas is made out of serpentine. And serpentine is a very weak rock, and it can be scratched with a knife or something like that. Investigators realized the grinding plates crush the soft rock to form a lubricating mud that prevents large earthquakes. Then the mud bubbles up to the ocean floor where it forms the strange mud volcanoes found along the trench's western edge. Other parts of the world like the Andes or maybe Indonesia you've got two plates that are grinding together and the, one of the plates is quite strong and it, it takes a big earthquake to rupture that plate interface. But if these rocks are weak like they are in the Marianas where you've got these serpentinites, those are very weak and it doesn't take much energy at all to get the two plates to glide one past the other. At last, geologists had discovered what created the Marianas Trench. 50 million years ago, the Pacific Plate slipped under the edge of the Philippine Plate. As it bent and dived into the Earth's mantle, it formed the colossal Marianas Trench. And the plate is still moving. 
Like a giant conveyor belt, the Earth's crust travels slowly across the Pacific Plate, from its birthplace in the East Pacific Ridge to its graveyard 10,000 miles away in the Marianas Trench. Today, the Pacific Plate's movement can be tracked in real time. Confirmation has come from GPS technology, where we can actually put a transmitter on an island and come back year after year and actually follow it moving a few centimeters a year towards the trench. It's devouring the crust at a rate of three inches a year, about as fast as a human fingernail grows. Every four million years, it swallows an area the size of the United States. By consuming the crust created at the Pacific Ocean Ridge, the ravenous Marianas Trench is the world's largest recycling plant. 